If you're a normal person, you can see a very simple answer instantly. Look closely. x to the power of x on the left side, 1 half to the power of 1 half on the right side, and they are both equals. So, the answer x equals to 1 half. Healthy and strong logics. But there is a teeny percent of people who instantly see another answer. And it's not a half. Is it normal? Can you see another answer here? A lot of people think that second decision doesn't even exist. But let's check it up. At first, let's take natural logarithm from both sides. We have natural logarithm x to the power of x equals to natural logarithm half to the power of one half. Of course, we know that x is bigger than zero. Then, using properties of logarithm, we can write second equation like x times natural logarithm x and it equals to 1 divided by 2 times natural logarithm 1 divided by 2. And then let's take right side of this equation to the left side. From this moment we can write x natural logarithm x minus 1 divided by 2 natural logarithm 1 divided by 2 and it equals to 0. Let's call left side of this equation is a f from x. From this moment we have to solve an equation f from x equals to 0. But at first let's check it up how many decisions this equation can have. At first let's explore a monotonic properties of this function. Let's find a derivative of f. So derivative of this function equals to 1 times natural logarithm x plus x times derivative of natural logarithm 1 divided by x plus derivative from constant equals to 0 and trying to find a point of extremum and it equals to 0. We have an equation that natural logarithm x plus 1 equals to 0 and decision is a point x is equals to e minus 1 exponent to the power of minus 1 or 1 divided by exponent. Now let's make a second step. Let's find the derivative signs. Let's draw this point on the x line. Here we have 1 divided by e, our extremum point. And now let's find the derivative sign to the left and to the right side of our stationary point. Let's draw 0, our point here. And what point lies between 0 and y divided by e? Of course, we can take another point 1 divided by e to the power of 2. It's bigger than 0 and it's less than 1 divided by e. In this point, value of derivative equals to natural logarithm 1 divided by e to the power of 2 plus 1. And it equals to minus 1 and it's less than 0. So it means that to the left of our extremum point function is decreasing. Now let's find the value of derivative to the right side from our extremum point. Let's take for example 1. So we have that value of derivative in point 1 equals to 0 plus 1 equals to 1 and is bigger than 0. So to the right from this point the function is increasing. It means that our extremum point 1 divided by e is a minimum point. And then let's remember that one solution x equals to 1 divided by 2 we already found and is bigger than 0. 1 divided by 2 is bigger than extremum point 1 divided by e. It means that character of function looks like extremum point 1 divided by 2 is decreases then we have some intersection point here, then it goes to the minimum in 1 divided by e. Then after minimum it increases and have intersection point 1 divided by 2 that we already found and then it increases. We have solution 1 divided by 2 and a second solution. It is here. Here is intersection point and we know that second solution is bigger than 0 and less than 1 divided by e. So second solution lies between 0 and 1 divided by e. And as we know that e equals to 2 and 7, it's not very hard to find a second solution. So let's try 1 divided by 3 as a solution. Uh, not. 
it's not that we need so and how about one divided by four and this is very good for this equation because one divided by four to the power of one divided by four equals to one divided by four to the power of one divided by two and again to the power of one divided by two under bracket is one divided by two and we have to the power of one divided by two the decision really good suits our equation so instead of first solution x equals to 1 divided by 2 we have another solution x is also equals to 1 divided by 4 very very good not an average answer isn't it could you notice the second answer from the first side here <laughs> i hope guys that you really loved this method and you really enjoyed looking this solution i hope you have a really good day and i really hope to see you in the next video